Hey, it's Rich here. In this video, I'm going to show you how I made the floor flat in the cargo area of my 2017 Honda CRV. So I made a video about six months ago about how I sleep in my 2017 Honda CRV. And in that video, I showed you this bed I have in the back, how I put down this carpet on the floor and this bed with the three inch thick foam mattress. I explained all that in, the, in that video. One of the questions I got the most from people, it was asked several times, people said, well, how did you make your floor flat? A lot of these people have older CRVs and they said that when they fold the back seat down, the floor is not flat. There's a big lump in it where the back seat connects to the back of the cargo floor and it's just not flat. And so they said, well, how did you make your floor flat? Well, the answer is I didn't do anything. It turns out that starting in 2017 with the 2017 model year, Honda CRVs are made so that when you put the back seat down, the floor is flat. And so I didn't have to do anything and that made it really easy to put this bed down. I don't need a platform or anything. The floor is flat. So I'm going to show you that. I'm going to take this bed out and the carpet out and I'm going to show you with the back seats up and then how they fold down and it's flat. There is one trick to it because the very back cargo area has two different adjustment levels. And I think some people may not be aware that the way the car normally is, it wouldn't be flat, but you have to readjust one thing and I'll show you that okay so I took out the foam mattress and my carpet padding and my carpet it's all piled up there on top of the car and I put the uh, back seats back to the uh, the normal position where you can sit on and so that's the back seat area so we go back here to the cargo area and this is what it looks like so let me fold the seats down now and so that one's down and fold this seat down and so now the seats are folded down but you're saying well wait you've got the same issue it's not flat there's uh this part and then it drops down about three four inches to this part here i'll show you from the back see it's uh it's got the cargo tray here and then it goes up about four inches to this part of the floor and so that's a little bit like the older CRVs where the floor is not level. But there's still in the newer models starting in 2017, there's still one more thing you need to do to make the floor flat. So what you do is you take out the cargo tray and then this floor has two levels it can be on. There's two different positions for this floor in the very back. It's just, it's on the lower position now, and that gives you a, the deepest cargo area. But what you wanna do is you wanna move the floor to this upper position, and then that will make the entire floor flat. So you grab the floor, you pull it up, and of course the spare tire and everything's down there. And what you do is you take this floor and you put it on this upper notch. I think a lot of people may not know about that. So you put it up there and then you just drop it down. There's notches back here as well for it to sit on. And there you go. That makes the floor flat. And that last trick that this uh, floor has two, the very back floor has two different positions, a lower and an upper, and you want to move it to the upper and then your floor will be flat. And they started this with the 2017 Honda CRVs, where you can have a flat floor. One thing I, I do want to show you about the floor, it is flat, but it's not level. It's pretty good, but it's not perfectly level. There is a slope to the floor. I don't know if you can really tell, if you can really see it. It's higher up here and it sort of slopes downward all the way. I think you can kind of see it in this view, how it slopes down. And then I can show you here. I, I actually carry a level or this little level around with me. I don't think this parking area is level, but on the ground, actually it is level right there. It shows that the uh, cement I'm parked on is level. Then of course, when I put it up here, it's not level at all. There, it's like way not level. So you can see how this floor actually slopes. If I do this, if I lift up, see it slopes down towards the back. If I lift up the back, that would be level. 
that's the one problem. The floor is flat, but it's not level. So what I do when I park, if possible, I try to park with the back of the car a little bit higher than the front. In other words, I try to park on a, I guess a downward slope a little, you know, a little bit. So as I said, the floor is pretty flat, but it's not level. It does slope a bit towards the back. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put my carpet pad, carpet, and then mattress back in so I can show you step-by-step -step how I do that. So here I put my carpet pad down over the floor. Uh, there's the floor, the flat floor. Some of you may see that this carpet pad's actually upside down. It really should be the other way. I did it this way because this side is more like plastic and sealed. And then this is the bottom of the carpet pad and it, it tends to break apart on this side and kind of crumble a little bit. And I didn't want that getting ground into my factory carpeting. But what I want to show you is what I did. So this is one layer of carpet pad. And so the idea I came up with, I told you that this whole floor slopes down. This is the low end and that's the high end. So I took additional carpet pad, three pieces. And what I do is I put one just like this here and then another one here and then like this. So there's three extra layers of carpet pad here, but then one ends here, the next one ends here, and the next one ends here. And so what that does is it lifts up the back just a little bit higher. It makes the back of the bed, I sleep with my feet at this end since this is the lower end. I tried to lift it up a little bit with some extra car pieces of carpet pad. So here there's a full three layers. And so that way it sort of makes a slope here to lift up the back of the bed just a little bit. That's one of the things I do to try to correct for the sloping of this flat cargo area. That's where I put my bed on that side. There's kind of a drop off here. It changes pretty quick from here to here. I mean, this is wide enough to support my mattress. At any rate, I have these extra pieces of carpet pad. I just kind of put one here to kind of make this slope down a little bit more. And then as you can see up here, there's kind of a little gully here in where it's not flat, where this is higher here and then it slopes down to here under my mattress so i keep these uh, little pieces too over there i put two pieces like that for that area that's where i'm sleeping and then there's a little area over here where it slopes down and so i put that and i just kind of do that under my carpet it, it does help it kind of looks weird right now like it may make the carpet lumpy but the carpet's kind of heavy enough that it, it does kind of level out the carpet so now I've got the uh, my carpeting back in over carpet pad. You can see my extra layers of carpet padding, how it makes that side of the rear a little bit higher. It does kind of come down, slopes down here. And um, there's ridges, like I say, where the extra pieces of carpet padding make the back a little bit higher than it was since it slopes down. And if I use my level, you can kind of see that over that ridge it is level actually that's level there so it does help a little with the extra pieces of carpet padding towards the back I mean it's kind of a stair step level I mean there it's it's actually level again there it's better than I thought so it kind of lifts up the back to try to make the floor a little more level all right let me put the uh, foam mattress in now and there's the foam mattress back without the bedding on it. Just the bare foam mattress like I explained in my other video about six months ago that this is three inches thick foam. It measures I believe 72 inches long and about 24 inches wide and I bought it at Home Depot as it was like $26. That's what I use for a bed. 
I explained in my other video that it extends beyond the seat. I and mean, so normally I have my cooler here to support the front of the mattress. I go over all that in my other video, which I'll link to this video. But yeah, the bed 72 inches long and it just touches this console. And I didn't have to cut it. This came this way and it just fits perfectly. And the bed is almost, almost level. So the extra carpet padding in the back sort of levels it out. All assuming, of course, you're parked in a level area. And like I showed you before, this area, at least in this direction, seems to be fairly level. So anyway, I hope uh, this video answers the questions I received about how uh, I made my floor in the cargo area flat. And I do think that more and more of the SUVs are going to this type of configuration so they can have a flat floor. It makes it so easy uh, to sleep in it because you don't have to build a platform. You don't have to try to put padding in the back to try to level out the big lump when you put the seats down. It's just really nice to, uh, to have the ability to have a flat floor. I don't want a sleeping platform because I like a lot of headroom and that I can sit up in the back. And I see a lot of the platforms that people build and they they're just up against the ceiling. They only have like, you know, 12 or 18 inches of room up there. So I recommend uh, if you're looking for a new SUV that you consider finding one with a flat floor, it just makes it so much easier. I see you rolling up through a black Cadillac, high heel boots and a sexy body from the So that wraps it up for this video. If uh, you enjoyed it or you found it helpful, please press the like button. Um, if you like this type of content, please consider subscribing to my channel. I'd really appreciate that. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.